Mr. Speaker, this is the second member statement that I wrote on the various campaigns and days to recognize the elimination of violence against women. The first was too raw and angry for public consumption. I still shake my head at the nice sayings and hopeful jingles that accompany this time. But I am a woman forged by the Montreal Massacre. Fourteen women, students and staff, were shot by a misogynist who felt women had denied him a place at engineering school. So he went into a coal polytechnique, told the young men to leave, which they did, and then he roamed the classrooms and hallways shooting the women. This event changed my life and still drives me forward. I don't think the collective we deserves congratulations on eliminating violence against women. We've known about the statistics, the money spent, the lives scarred, and the effect on subsequent generations, and still, we raise boys who think violence is a useful tool in relating to women. Where are they getting this? Attitudes are not genetic. We are still teaching our children this is okay. We've poured money into shelters and programs, and now even recognize bullying as a beginning behavior for violence. But, oh yes, the big but, we have school boards refusing just yesterday to pass a resolution specifically prohibiting bullying of gay kids, along with statements about not drawing attention to themselves. Are you kidding me? When do we stop saying that wearing certain clothes or having an effeminate, effeminate demeanor means they deserve abuse? We even still make spouses meet their abuser in court over child care arrangements even when the women have protection orders to, to, from the same courts for the men to stay away. These things connect. So in 2012, do we get to celebrate success? No, we don't. But all the shelters and the programs and the funders should be thanked for so many years of trying. Thank you.